Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we are making a basic cheese sauce. It's from simple ingredients. Um, Plant-based milk, some thickening, some emulsification, and you're good to go. This cheese sauce is plant-based. It's vegan. It can be used in vegan recipes or anywhere where a vegan cheese sauce will be required. We'll go straight ahead to our ingredients, which are um, only six ingredients. Here we have our soy milk. I prepared this a different way. No soy test at all. I'll have it coming soon. Here we have cornstarch. We'll use this for thickening the sauce. Yeah. Here we have lemon juice. Um, here we have a neutral testing oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, canola oil, or any preferable oil that you desire. Here we have some turmeric and paprika. Paprika is quite optional. Turmeric is also optional. I'm using it for color. If you want it white, you can just uh, omit it. You'll get the exact measurements in the description box below. So those are our only ingredients. If you want a sweet um, cheese sauce, you can do honey. You just stir some honey with the rest. You'll need a whisk. And I'm using my shallow um, pan for this recipe. Yeah, so right now it's a matter of pouring um, the milk and other ingredients to the, um, the sufuria. I've put my turmeric and my paprika. Next, I will be adding my cornstarch. Remember I said this is for thickening. The people who use gelatin, um, whichever thickening agent that is plant-based is preferable. Right now, I'm adding my oil. Uh, remember I said a neutral testing oil. Or even coconut oil if you don't have a problem with it, it's just okay. Yeah, I'm using canola oil in this recipe. That is what I have. Right now, I've added my lemon juice. The people who can use apple, uh, who normally use apple cider vinegar. Well, I find lemon juice natural and inexpensive. And now I've added my plant-based milk. I'm using soy milk. You can use coconut milk, buttermilk. There are many types of plant-based milk. So... Here, we're just stirring a bit and then put it to the fire and stir this uh, for three minutes on, on low heat. So that's all that you required. After some time, you'll notice that it will start to thicken. Even the turmeric will have spread and the whole mixture will have become um, yellow. Yeah. Also, at the end of this, the mixture will have thickened and reduced in almost half. It will have thickened and it will be like a sauce. This is a sauce that you can use in things like shepherd's pie to top. You can even use it in a lasagna. You can use it in pizza. You can use it as a bread spread. And if you want to use it for sweet recipes, you can add honey instead just to sweeten it. Yeah. So here I am. It's almost becoming thick. We are at three minutes already. But I want to go a little mile uh, until I see that it is looking like it wants to stick on the bottom of the pan. I want a, such a consistency that is like cheese that is um, like pulling itself. Yeah. So this took me a whole total of six minutes of consistent stirring, a bit of posing, stirring, a bit of posing and stirring. Yeah. So that the, the thickening can be uniform also the paprika and the turmeric can be uniform and even the heat distribution can be uniform 
So I'm removing it out of fire and I've put it in my bowl and I've allowed it to cool. And this is how it's looking. It's a bit hot still. So we want to see how it is. The more it cools, by the way, the more it becomes a bit thicker. Yeah. I would like to hear your feedback concerning this recipe. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Try it. Try it on your bread as a bread spread. Make some pizza at home and try it. Tell me what you think. Tell me about the taste. I like it personally. And I would like to try it on other recipes that will call for a cheese sauce. Remember to eat this to the glory of God. Um, remember to be a channel of light. Wherever the Lord has placed you, the Lord depends on you. For more plant-based recipes, hit, please hit the subscribe button. Leave your comment down below. If you have any suggestions on some um, recipes that you would like me to try, I'm so much welcome and willing to try them. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Have a blessed week. Bye.